This video will be about making a uh, compression tester for the for model engines. I've made three of them in the past, and the first one was a complete disaster because the pressure gauge was way too high and it was kind of clumsy. And the second one, I have it, it looked just like this, except it went up to 60 pounds and it wouldn't hold pressure below 30 pounds. So that's no good for these model engines because this model engine only has about 20 pounds of pressure. So I finally found this one. They, just started making this it's it's uh, high as 30 pounds and this is perfect and it has the uh, button to hold the pressure and holding the pressure is is important if you if you're uh, testing something and you can't see the thing you have to have it hold so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off which unscrews very handily and I'm going to saw that saw that off of there and then put it in the lathe and turn it and tap it to fit my adapters I have three adapters for different spark plugs, and uh, they, they're all made for the other, other one with a quarter inch 32 thread here, so I can just screw them, screw them in and uh, use the same adapters. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just saw this part off and that part off to make it easier when I put it in the lathe. I'm just going to put this in the three jaw and clean it up a little bit so it doesn't look so ugly. And then I'm going to tap the hole in there to fit my uh, adapters. Should be almost enough, I think. Let me uh, take the top off it now. Got the hole exposed. I don't know what that metal is, but it's awful soft. It's a, uh, it's a white metal, but it isn't like pot metal. It's something else. It really cuts nice. I'm going to try to tap that. I got to get a tap handle here. A little cutting oil on that. You need to lock down the spindle? Yeah, good thinking. See if we can get that to start in there. Going. Well, 
not very deep. I realize that doesn't go in there very deep. Okay, I didn't take more off of it. How oh, that fits. That's what we want. Okay, that's the quarter inch. Let's try this one first. Get that in there just enough so it doesn't leak. Okay. Now, take that out and screw it in the engine. Just getting the gas tank out of the way. Put this in there. Probably ought to put this on the, the uh, sensor first. This has a nice little uh, O-ring on it so that it seals up really easy. You don't have to screw it on with a wrench. Okay. Just going to snug it up. Try to uh, hold this and turn it at the same time. See how I do here. I see that's only uh, what 12 and a half pounds, but there's no no oil in this engine. This hasn't been run for quite some time. But let's see if we can get a little oil onto the piston and see if we can increase that a little bit. It should be around 20 pounds. But this, this is a good running engine, and I never have trouble starting it. I don't have to put oil on it to start it, so obviously they'll start at 15 pounds. Like I said before, the, the problem with the old one was it was a 60-pound gauge, and it didn't read well. And it wouldn't hold pressure below 50, 40 pounds. See if this will uh, get any oil in there or not. Uh, backwards again. No, that didn't change it at all. Let's pop it down. Start at zero again. Whoa! I can't do this one-handed. Almost 14 now. What did I have? 12 and a half before. It's 14 now. Yep. Let's try another engine. This is my mill engine. This runs excellent too. And what I had to do is I had to take the uh, the uh, intake valve and carburetor off of this and make an adapter so I could put the compression tester because this does not have a spark plug. It has a, 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 a set of breaker points. It's a make and break engine. So I haven't got any oil in this and this has not been run for a while. So it's probably not going to be up to 20 pounds either. I'm just curious what it is. You don't have to get that tight because it has an O-ring there. Oh, gotta take the pressure out of it. It holds pressure really good. You see, that's only, well, that's only uh, 14 pounds also. That's amazing. And this engine starts really good. It is. I'm just going to put a couple of drops of oil in this. So I've put a little oil in this one. I want to see if it makes much of a difference. I'm not sure that I got it all the way around, but I, I ran it through a few times. Get this out of my hand. Got compression. Definitely got compression. I'm gonna try screwing it on this way here. See this this turns freely on the end. So you can put the adapter in, turn that in, you can line it up, and the O-ring seems to seal pretty good. Okay, we're down in pressure. 
Just gonna turn this over by hand. Look at that. That went right up to 12 and a half pounds. It's not going any higher. Well, that's 14 pounds. So, as you can see, these don't have a lot of compression and they run good. This engine runs excellent, run all day if I keep at it, keep fuel in it. Now we're gonna test the six cycle oddball. That's a tapered fitting, so it'll seal up pretty good. Okay. This uh, engine should have some oil on the rings because I ran this yesterday. I had a gasket laying around that just about fit that. I hope it works. But, uh, I think this will screw in there. Tighten with the wrench. Now that's very interesting. These are very, very close. 14 pounds. This one's 13 and a half. And this was run yesterday, so it's probably got plenty of oil in it. Uh, let's put a little more oil in the cylinder. Just see how it uh, acts. I think I can just do that right there. That, that oiled the piston really well then. Put all the oil in there. See if that changes it any. Look at that. Nope. So that's actually what we have is, is about 14 pounds and that's enough to make them run. So I thought originally the pressure was around 20 but according to this it's only around 14 or 15. So it, it was the other gauge read about uh, 17 to 18 and sometimes 20 but who knows which is correct but at least I have a I know what I should have to make it run is, is around 15 pounds. It's uh, just under 15 pounds. And they seem to run good at that pressure. I, I just wanted to say that I got the, this is off of Amazon and it was under $20 with the shipping. So uh, it works out pretty good because the end unscrews so easy and you can put it in the lathe and you can make it fit your, uh, make it fit your, where is the piece? Yeah. This, this piece here that I machined down, it's, it screws on very easily and it has the swivel on the end so you can screw it in the spark plug while you're holding it. It works out really great and it's, it holds the pressure. That's it, this is a compression tester and uh, it worked out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Uh, next week when I run the engines, I'm gonna do the final uh, video on the uh, six cycle oddball and I'm gonna show you something about the ignition systems. And at that time, I'll try to run one engine and put it on there immediately and see if the compression is different after, just after it's run when it's warmed up. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.